Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dear students this is Dr. Ali El Morsi in lecture in the digital logic design DLD lecture number 27 part 2 lecture number 27 part 2 uh, we want to give more examples about the uh, developing the state diagram for the world problems of uh, chapter number uh, 5 um, uh, in uh, our part one, we actually demonstrated how can I build the state diagram for what we call the sequence detector. And uh, we mentioned that there are different flavors of the sequence detectors, and but the concepts is the same. Uh, in part two, we want to solve another example. This example will be about what's called the vending machine. Vending machine, we use the vending machine uh, in our daily life, okay? What's the vending machine? The vending machine, how the, the vending machine works? The vending machine actually accepts your dirhams and should give you your product. However, if we are assuming that uh, uh, with a specific or a simple vending machine, we can state the uh, following wording of the problem, okay? So for the vending machine design, Design the state diagram for a vending machine that can it can accept only Coins of one dirham each and any product of the vending machine is or costs. Costs three dirhams. This is a very simple example of a vending machine. The vending machine accepts only one dirhams, bills or coins of one dirhams, and any product in the vending machine are all equally priced of three dirhams. Okay, and uh, let us use using Mori vending or state diagram to make the example different from the example that we have already covered in the sequence detector and that so let us solve this problem uh, as a Mori again so in this example we will not go into the sequence that uh, the, the method that we used in the last two examples, we will not use it here. We will just, uh, since the, the design for this uh, problem is simple, and we will go right ahead or right away to what? To the state diagram. Before we go to the state diagram, I want to ask the fundamental question. Is the vending machine is a sequential circuit or combinational? Is it sequential? Not because we are solving this problem, for chapter five, but because for the vending machine, do you want a memory or not? Do we need a memory? Yes, we need a memory. If the vending machine takes your coins and do not give you your product, that means it is a thief, okay? So while you are entering or inserting your coins in the vending machine, the machine should have a memory how many dirhams that you have entered so far okay so we can identify here two variables so we can call so let's assume you assume that the coins each represented or represent Each coin, 
assume that each coin represent the input for my vending machine and I will call this input X. We also assume that the releasing of the product the product to the customer to the customer is input or output is output okay and we will call it output y that means the vending machine or the state diagram has one external input which are the coins that you are entering or feeding the vending machine with and the output is your product so x is a binary input or not yes it is a binary input so if you are entering coins no coin no coin no coin insert this is the value zero if you insert a coin that means x equals to one similarly i can identify or recognize two states for the output okay no product released no product released we will give this the value zero when i release the product an output should have the value one Okay, agree. Okay, agree. Now, so now I wanted to build the, a, the state diagram for my vending machine. Okay, I start with initial state, I will call it S0. We agree to build this as a as a me as a Mori state diagram. So that means y, which is the output, should be shown inside the state. Initially, the machine will definitely will not give you the product because you didn't feed it with any coins. Now you uh, the machine, so that means as long as in X which is the input equals to zero, okay? That means you are not feeding the machine with any input. Will it give you the product? Shall the machine remember anything? We can call this a no deposit. The state here indicates the amount of deposit that you have in the vending machine. Initially, in state S0, there is no deposit. It does not have any money. Now you start entering your coins. So you will change the value of x. x now equals to 1. Okay? So you insert your first coin. What shall I, what the machine should respond? The machine should actually change its state to indicate right now I have a coin. Okay? Will the product will be released? The answer is no. You have to complete the three dirhams to for the machine to release the product for you. Okay? If I hear a, give a deposit one dirham. The deposit is one dirham. Now, after entering the first coin, you get a, more, a phone call. You start talking to your friend over your phone. Okay? What the machine should do? The machine should stay in that state, waiting you 
for entering the second coin. So right now, as long as you are not entering any coins, the machine will stay in the state S with CS1, remembering that it has a deposit of one dirham. Then, now, you decided to enter the second coin. So right now, the, the deposit should change. And now, now I am in S2. Will I get my product released? The answer is no. So y is still equals to zero. But the deposit now is two dirhams. If this state indicates I have deposit of two dirhams so far. Now you uh, actually thinking about which product to to get from the vending machine okay so you are not entering any more dirhams so the machine will just wait for you until you decide to actually give your last dirham the last coin entering the vending machine or inserted in the vending machine this is s3 okay now since you enter one dirham two dirham three dirhams in the machine the machine should give you the output one should release for you your product because the deposit is is three dirhams agree so the output should be one and the product will be released now after state s3 okay what shall you do okay if you inserted if you didn't insert any more coins okay the machine automatically will go to the state s0 so if no coins are inserted you go back that there is no deposit okay right if you are in s3 and you inserted one more coin okay so that means after s3 if you put s uh, x equals to one where shall you go you have to go to the state s1 that means right now the deposit is back to a to one zero. agree make sense so this is simply the state diagram for the vending machine of three dirhams the problem may be much tougher more complex if you choose to by the way the vending machine is uh, one of the uh, projects for digital logic design lab dld lab okay students may you can you may choose this as your uh, uh, project however we need a more advanced cases okay um, what if the vending machine accepts actually two types so we are finished here we are finished from the example now i'm extending the example extend and make it more tougher make it more practical extending the problem extend the problem what if the machine actually accept two types of coins okay one dirham and half dirham okay and assume that the product is with the same price if a product if this is the first assumption that i increase the number of a or the types of inputs here okay the number of inputs here i have two options either inserting one dirham or inserting half dirham or not inserting any dirham at all so you have to remember this case okay so actually for the inputs or no dirham so how many options for the inputs for the extended example i have three okay you have to do what's called an encoding for those three cases okay into binary so entering no dirhams i can how many bits in binary this should be encoded for three different cases to deal with that means either 
is one input enough? One input is not enough because one input has two states, has two values, either zero or one. Here I have three cases. So that means I have to use at least three, two inputs. Those two inputs could have up to four different options. Either I can pick for the no dirhams, the value zero, zero. For one dirham, the value may be zero, one. The half dirham is one, zero, okay? And the case for one, one, I can deal it as a don't care, okay? If a one, one is a don't care. Because this is in terms of inputs. Extending the problem with A is different inputs. Okay, to simplify the problem, let us assume that the machine, the product of the machine, costs only two dirhams as a cost. If all product is two dirhams, design a state diagram. If this is your homework, if the homework is to modify the example for the vending machine to have more options for the inputs and assume that each product is two dirhams. Develop the uh, vending machine, the state diagram for that vending machine uh, using nearly state diagram instead of Mori. You solve this as Mori, you can solve it using Mili. This is your homework and uh, this is, so once you build the state diagram, as we mentioned before, you have the state diagram you have to do a state assignment. From the state assignment, you find the number of pieces, how many pieces to build this. But this is the extension. I'm not talking about the extension. I'm going back to our original problem. Okay. In our original problem here, okay, if I want to continue with the design, I have here four states. So that means how many pieces to design the circuit? I need two pieces. What is the easiest design? The easiest is using the fifes, correct? Right. That means I need two flip flops, flip flop A, flip flop B, and then I'm from the state diagram. I have to do that's called the state assignment. Okay. So in the state assignment, I have here A and B, the two flip flops, and I have four cases for the state assignment for the uh, input uh, for the st state outputs. So I have here S0, S1, S2, S3. And A and B have values 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now I defined for each state a combination for the state inputs or the, also the state outputs later on. Okay, this is the first step. Then I can go from the state diagram. I now ready to build the state table. On the state table using K maps, I can get a the state equations, okay, from the K maps, and then I can draw the circuit. The second homework here, if a homework two, homework two is to complete the design using the flip. Give two homeworks for this a lecture. Completing this design, the full design till the end, okay, and uh, modify, but only here I'm asking for a, for the state diagram only. Okay. Agree? Make sense? So this is actually lecture number 27, and uh, we are done with the sequential circuits. We done with the chapter five. We are done with chapter five. And inshallah, lecture number 28, we will go to chapter number six. We will discuss, we have two lectures for chapter six, lecture for the counters and lecture for the registers. So chapter six is the applications of the synchron sequential circuits. Okay, we need to uh, design some circuits usually used and extensively used and usually designed for synchronous sequential circuits. Those two circuits, one lecture for what's called the counters and the other lecture is what's called the registers. So those are lecture number 28 and 29 and lecture number 
30, which is the last lecture in this semester. We will learn other stuff called the BCD, okay? Uh, when we go to the lecture, we will actually understand what it is. It's one extra representation for money. So thank you and uh, see you in the online session and in the following uh, recordings, inshallah.